Hey Ross, hey Ross, how do those headphones sound? <laughs> oh, I don't, I don't think he can hear me, but that's probably a good sign. He's probably immersed in this Call of Duty match. Too bad those fancy headphones aren't making them any better. <gasps> Be sure to hit that subscribe button if you like all things audio gear, the best headphones, amps, speakers, DACs, DAPs, and more. Click that bell too so you don't miss our latest reviews and videos as soon as they drop right here at Moon Audio. So this video is my love letter to all you gamers out there. I was a gamer before I was an audiophile, and now that I'm an audiophile too, I'm even more broke. <laughs> Just kidding, kinda. Anyway, here's the deal. I want to talk about a few things to consider when leveling up your audio gear that will most assuredly, in the long run, enhance your overall gaming experience. Now, it's not going to make you a better gamer. I can't help you with that. But gaming itself can be an escape. It's experiential by nature, and sound plays a very important role in that immersion into the game world. I'm here today to show you that it doesn't cost an arm and a leg to easily improve and enhance that experience. Now, there's a lot to consider when it comes to headphones and other gear. What type of driver they use, open back versus closed back, Bluetooth versus wireless audio, and more. Don't worry, it's not complicated. And for the sake of time, head over to our guide after this video where I walk you through these considerations step by step. But one thing we do need to discuss here is platform audio, aka how your platform can connect or output audio, which will affect what type of gear is compatible and how it will hook up. We're going to look at the four main platforms, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo Switch, and PC, which for the most part will include Mac as well. Now, the complicated thing is that we live in an age where manufacturers are releasing multiple variations of the same platform, which complicates compatibility. So I'll try to be as clear as possible in regards to console variants. Number one, Xbox. Microsoft allows HDMI, optical, wireless, wired via the 3.5 millimeter on the controller, and Bluetooth audio output. Wireless audio only works with supported USB dongles, and Bluetooth is supported only with approved Xbox peripherals. Xbox does not support USB audio out. Number two, PlayStation. Sony allows for HDMI, optical, wireless, wired via the 3.5 millimeter on the controller, and Bluetooth audio. Optical is not included on the PS4 Slim as the port is removed. Wireless works with compatible dongles. Bluetooth works only with supported peripherals. PS4 and below does not support USB audio, but PS5 does. Newer USB DACs work fine, but note that the PS5 is incompatible with USB audio receivers that support the 11-year-old standard of UAC2. Next, Switch. Does Bluetooth wired via 3.5 millimeter and USB audio just fine. And lastly, PC and Mac. Does it all. You got a port for it, it'll work. So without further delay, let's check out some of the best gear to level up your audio game. Headsets. Real quick, what's the difference between a headset and a headphone? Headsets have a microphone. We'll go ahead and classify this section as headphones that have detachable boom microphones. We'll have some headphone options in the next section that have some integrated mics into the headphone itself that we'll leave separate. First up, the Penrose. The Penrose is one of the best headset options for console owners due to the fact that it specifically comes in an Xbox and a PlayStation variant. These come natively compatible with each respective gaming system plug and play and use wireless audio via the included USB dongle. These will also work with PC and Mac via the dongle as well as USB-C with the included charging cable. The Penrose comes equipped with Bluetooth as well for mobile devices, PC, etc. and makes for a much more affordable entry point to high fidelity gaming audio than the big brother Mobius. The main differences are that the Penrose does not include the head tracking technology 
and comes with a different broadcast audio quality microphone. If you're a console player, the Penrose should definitely be a consideration. If you're already an audiophile, then the format of the LCD GX probably looks pretty familiar already. The LCD GX is stylistically a lot like Odyssey's other LCD lineup of headphones, only this time they offer you a cable option with a built-in microphone. The nice thing about the mic is that it's terminated before the headphone, meaning you can swap it out at any time for a regular cable, which is also included for listening to music. The departure from other headsets on this list is that the LCD GX doesn't have any of the other wireless connection options for audio. That being said, we also recommend pairing the LCD GX with a headphone amplifier to get the full potential from the planar magnetic drivers, though you don't have to. The open back design will also provide a great soundstage and airiness to your music and game audio alike. The Odyssey LCD GX is one of the most premium headset options to upgrade your gaming experience when it comes to sound and fidelity. So I just had the pleasure of reviewing the Sundara closed back headphones from Hi-Fi Man, which is partially why it makes this list. For under $500, Hi-Fi Man brings their flagship level tech from their Susvara all the way down to the Sundara with their amazing sounding Stealth Magnets technology. The Sundara is a closed back planar magnetic driver that creates highly detailed and accurate sound reproduction. The ear cup design is reminiscent of the popular R10 series and helps to add much larger soundstage than other closed back headphones. The Sundara is a great headphone for gaming due to the fact that they are easy to drive as well, and whereas you won't necessarily need an external headphone amp, we always recommend throwing as much power as possible to planar drivers for better performance. There is no USB or digital technology on these headphones, so you'll need to connect via the wired audio connection to your console controllers via the 3.5 millimeter jack, the switch, and or the PC. If you're looking for a no frills, great sounding headphone for gaming and listening to music, then look no further. Lucky for this list, the Bathys, or as we've also heard it pronounced, the Batis, if you're French, was just released. Like the Sony XM5, the Bathys can do a lot, only when it comes to sound quality, it can do it a lot better. Focal put a lot of tech into their first noise canceling headphone, and needless to say, it delivers. I don't think the noise canceling compares to the XM5, which is also on our list, but it is effective. And combined with the Focal driver technology, it delivers a much more premium sonic experience. But that is to be expected since the Bathys is twice the price of the XM5. The Bathys has a nice sound stage with plenty of clarity and dynamics, making it a great option for both gaming and music listening. Obviously, you'll be limited, natively at least, as a console user with Bluetooth, but the pairing process works just fine with the Switch and PC. However, you'll be able to use the Bathys wired on all platforms. But know that because of the tech, you'll need to have the headphones powered on for sound. Like the Penrose and the Mobius, the Bathys can't be used passively. But I'll happily trade the option to save battery for a superior audio experience and that's just what the Bathys offers. If you want the best headphone sound that Sony provides, then you want the MDR Z1R. It has incredibly fun and crisp sound thanks to the magnesium dome and HD driver. Like other headphones on this list, you're not going to find any bells and whistles on the Z1R. It's a plug and play headphone only for wired connection. They're also the largest headphones on this list, so they'll be better for at-home use as opposed to taking them on the road, but I guess you could if you really wanted to. Despite the size, the Z1R headphone is extremely light and comfortable. The cups are designed so that they provide some good spaciousness, and the audio sounds just as big as the headphone looks. The MDR Z1R is one of the best headphones at Moon Audio for those who like a fun and energetic sound to their music, and like it's tuned to do well with every music genre, it's also just as compatible with many types of games. 
That makes it a great choice for gamers and audiophiles who can't decide which headphone they want. And with a brand like Sony, how could you go wrong? To top our list of headphones is one that gamers and audiophiles everywhere revere for its grand soundstage and wonderful detail and clarity. The HD800S from Sennheiser is a favorite on both sides of pro and consumer audio, and that's saying a lot. Sennheiser is known for their clean analytical sound, and when it comes to open back headphones, it's hard to find an equal for imaging and soundstage. That's why it makes for one of the best headphones all around for gaming. You'll want to pair the HD800S with a headphone amp to get the most from it, but you'll be surprised with the amount of sound detail it will bring to your gaming experiences. The ear cups are large and extremely comfortable, and I find myself wearing them for hours at a time with no fatigue whatsoever. Of course, they are the most expensive headphones on our list too, but there's a reason why big time streamers and gamers recommend the Sennheiser HD800S for their setups. Better sound means better immersion, which means better gaming experiences all around. The moral of the story here is that if you want good gaming headphones, then just use good headphones. Chances are more times than not, if the word gaming is in the name, and it's under like 200 bucks, then it's probably not that great for gaming. The Neo is one of my new favorite devices. I have one on my desk here and I use it daily for my streaming. The Neo is iFi's three in one DAC amp and streamer. You can connect it to your system a variety of ways, including USB, optical, coax, XLR, and RCA. At home, I can do RCA out of my TV to some HD800s or plug it into my gaming laptop via USB and connect to the XM5 using LDAC for a nice, clean, high-res audio. It's a versatile device for any setup and will provide you with all the power you'll need for power-hungry planar headphones. The wireless options are nice too. From the perspective of an audiophile and a gamer, it's been one of my favorite additions to Moon Audio this year, and the price is fairly reasonable too for what you get. This thing is insane. Of all the gear I've had the pleasure of checking out, reviewing, and testing in the past year, the Griffin from iFi is by far my favorite device. I recently did a listening test face-off with the popular Mojo 2 a few months ago with everyone here at Moon Audio, and the big takeaway is that even though the Mojo 2 won out based on sound alone, the features and the very close sound quality in comparison makes the Griffin the better buy. Bluetooth, USB audio, unbalanced and balanced ins and outs, amazing sonic enhancements and more. In a portable size that you can take with you anywhere, I don't know why you haven't pressed the add to cart yet on our website. It was one of the few products that worked natively with almost every gaming setup we tested. Read more on the full guide if you want, but I'll just save you time. Just get one. The RSU Terp headphone amp is a great option for those who want a smooth, warm tone to their audio. Equipped with low and high impedance settings, tubes, an ESS Sabre DAC chip, it also allows you to use digital sources like PC or mobile as well. It even has a built-in headphone stand as it's designed. The Uterp sounds as good as it looks and the added horsepower goes a long way in making both game audio and music sound more dynamic and resolute with various headphone setups. The Fonitor SE headphone amp from SPL is a great pairing with our favorite top of class gaming headphone, the HD800S from Sennheiser. Drew personally recommends the Fonitor to his HD800 customers because of the output. It's a capable headphone amp for music listening, but I also enjoyed it a lot for my gaming sessions. You can pair it with an optional DAC, which features the popular AKM4490 and sounds rich and dynamic. One of the main draws too to the Fonitor is the switchable crossfeed, allowing you to listen and adjust to your game audio and music through headphones, with the sound experience of listening through speakers. Paired with the HD800S was some of the most exciting auditory experiences I've had while gaming. 
but it works just as well with any headphone you throw at it, and that's why it makes this list. Honorable mention here with the Claris Coda. I feel like this thing makes it into all of my videos. The Coda is a handy little USB DAC that works with almost everything. Of course, it won't be compatible with consoles that can't do USB audio, but it's good for just about everything else. Amazing, clear, and detailed sound, no bigger than a flash drive, and it even has manual volume up and down buttons and filter options. I always bring a small USB DAC with me everywhere because you'll never know when you need one. So here's just a selection of products that can easily improve your gaming audio. It doesn't take a lot to really improve the immersion of your gaming sessions. I found that investing just a little more in a great headphone with convenient controls like the Mobius not only greatly improves the quality of my gaming audio and music listening, but I find myself just sitting there much longer and just enjoying the game more. There's lots of games and types of games out there so that audio experience will vary depending on what you're into. Multiplayer shooters, hear more details like enemies creeping up behind you. Open world, hear living, breathing ecosystems sound as if you're actually there. Sound and sound quality can literally make or break a game, and your ears deserve better than your crappy TV speakers. There's tons of headphones, headsets, and other gear out there so let this be your first step in what will hopefully be a lifetime journey of better sound for your games and music. It still won't make you a better gamer though. We'll include a link to the full guide where you can check out the complete list of the products that we've included. There you can find lots more info on picking the right gear, platform compatibility, sound impressions, and links to a bunch more info. If you like this video, please give a thumbs up and remember to subscribe so you don't miss our videos here at Moon Audio. If you have any questions, drop a comment below. And as always, thanks for watching.